episode, man, of season one. I appreciate you. It's been awesome. Have you tuned in? You're watching. You're listening. I thank you. God bless you. This is Young Money Radio. Thank you, Apple Music. We still rolling. We still live. We still here. Hope y'all masked up and safe out there. Now, my next guest is from my neck of the woods, New Orleans, a New Orleanian. And took a few years off to knuckle up with life, but he back, now and better than ever, with a story to tell, ladies and gentlemen. August Alcina, how you feeling, boy? Yeah! How you doing, boy? You good? So, what's good? I'm man. good, man. Doing, big breath. I'm good, good to see man. you, dog. Likewise. Look, you, 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 you all on the radio and things, man. Congrats. I, man, I like you. to see you. I <laughs> like to see you in this. I <laughs> 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 like. Look, they got they got a Holly Grove Uptown nigga on on the radio, you man. Feel, I man. like to see. I like to see you in in that in that setting, man. man For real. Thank you, man. Shout out, shout out, Wild Wayne. You know, I learned from the best. Man. Shout <laughs> you out, you Wild dig, Wayne. You, you feel, dig. Man. You I'm dig. A, dig. You dig? I'm gonna go a little further back, man. Shout out David D, man. You feel me, man? You feel how your family feeling right now? Man, my family is uh my family cool, man. Everybody, uh I mean, I was just telling Mac the other day when I was talking to him that mm-hmm. you know, uh when you from that city mm-hmm. and you that you when you really from that world, we we really from the trenches mm-hmm. in real life. You know what I'm saying? We really, we really come from that world. It's really a jungle. So everybody in New Orleans, my family, it, it we we built to to survive and to endure. You heard me? I try to tell them, bro. I try to tell them yeah. every day. I try to tell them every yeah. day. Now, yeah, man. Now, August, you've been you've been off for off the scene for a minute, but you recently mm-hmm. dropped a new documentary, State of Emergency. Yeah, the rise, yeah. the rise of August Alcina. That covers yeah. your upbringing, struggles with debt, the crack addiction mm-hmm. that runs in your family. Tell us more mm-hmm. about all that, man. Tell us about the doc, man. How you spend, yeah, the, man. And tell them um, how you spend time away from everything, too. I well, I um, actually started working on this this documentary probably like uh, five five years ago, mm-hmm. and it it really took me, you know, all of that time to kind of figure out what I wanted to do with it, because. At the time, I had footage and stuff, but it never felt um, complete, you mm-hmm. hear me? And, um, you know, I was still just trying to figure out what direction um, I wanted to go with it. And I was filming, you know, through over the course of those years and capturing a lot of moments that was happening in wow. my life. And I was wow. I was experiencing, like, so much, um, you know, pain and trauma and really just um, dealing with, like, my health. And, and my health issues and my health decline, and that's really one of the main reasons that I um, decided to fall back from uh, this industry so that I can focus on my health and figure out what's happening with me and really devote my time to uh, healing, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But um, the documentary is called State of Emergency, and I, I think it's wild that I named it State of Emergency before Exactly. The whole world exactly. was, you know, yeah. even in the state of emergency, emergency, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, I mean, but the idea for me was a play on words, you know, about how I think cause a lot of people complain about uh, pain. I, and I definitely was one of those people and, you know, just experiencing certain things in, in this life and how it can affect you. And over time, I started to realize how, uh, you know, how pain can be a gift for you and to you if you, if you yeah, see it in yeah, that exactly. in that way exactly. you know what i'm saying if you make the most of it yeah and, and and that's the that's that's that was the play on words was uh you know you know how your pain can uh either make you run away and it can crumble make you crumble mm-hmm. and or or it can make you emerge and, and, and see mm-hmm. and see in a different kind of way from a from a different uh perspective and you know it's been super healing for me dog it really it really has been and i think for a lot of people to um be able to see themselves inside of uh the story because i say all the time that we all are a lot more alike than we think and there's so much division in the world from you know color to uh gender to all of this that people think divides us in some type of way but um i think it, there, if, if there's not one uh, thing that we, you know, have in common, that thing is that everybody 
wants their family to be straight. Everybody, we, everybody on this planet want wants love and, and want to figure out what that is. And everybody exactly. is kind of living, you know, to experience that thing. And, you know, over time, I just realized that really love, man, that's really the only thing that's really real here. You heard me? That we have here on this earth. And um, as I was shooting, I ended up uh, in, a, in the hospital. My health started to really decline. My sister uh, died on, on Christmas. God rest her soul. Uh, my sister died. I thank you, man. My sister died uh, from from cancer. And you know, one minute she was here, and then the next mm-hmm. minute she wasn't. And in the blink of an eye, my whole world had just like shifted. I can you imagine. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it, you know, and when my sister died, that version of me died with her. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, I was able to capture just all these moments. Uh, and that you, was got, happening. you got those moments on camera too. Yeah, wow. yeah, throughout throughout wow. throughout um throughout my life um and it's just really my family just you know seeing us in that setting and bringing people re- to the to the trenches for real. I, I feel like so many people talk about where they come from and talk about being from a certain kind of place but we never really get to see it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We hear you talking but we never really get to see it and I thought it was important um to open myself up in that kind of way even as uncomfortable as it may uh have felt mm-hmm. um just to show other people in the world that um no matter where you come from no matter what you, what you experience go you gotta get yeah it. yeah and you yeah. can be anything that you want to be in this life regardless of what other people put on to you what they tell you you can't be regardless of <laughs> what other people project on to you you can be whatever it is that you want to be as as long as you have the endurance mm-hmm. <laughs> to survive whatever it is you're experiencing, you know, nah. you just push through. You also have the album out now, too, called The Product 3, State yeah. of Emergency. I know me, you, and Juicy J, we already got one on there called Recent. Well, uh, what's some other features you have on there? Say, look, you... you uh. You you bodied that V by the way you 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 are, you, are, you, are, you are rapping rapping ass nigga <laughs> nah but you bodied that um love. you know every time I appreciate you coming you already know it is, um but really the product three um all of this started as a uh, as mixtapes I did a product one that was my introduction to uh, the music world mm. and then I did a product two um and then product three so really. It, it's a mixtape, but it's album quality uh, of music. And because I had not put out music for years for so long, I mm-hmm. thought it was important to um, feed my core base and get my core base reactivated um, gotcha. and give them as many songs uh, of quality as possible. Um, and I really didn't put too many features on, on, on the project. Um, I know uh, Tink is on the project, you, uh, Juicy... Um, one of my homies, Daryl Walls, he a gospel artist, and I, I don't, I feel like I'm not missing anybody. I don't think I am, but yeah, I wanted to keep the um, features, yeah, yeah, down to a minimum, and um, really just kind of reintroduce myself exactly. back to uh, to, to, to the music world. Exactly. Well. Also, if it's feeding off of um, feeding off the state of emergency, the um, state of emergency doc, it should have been more. It should be more of you. You know I mean? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Now, dog. what message? What message do you want the people to take from the project? Like, what story did you tell them? From the project as a whole, mm-hmm. um, you know, the project has so many. It, it, it's so many different vibes on. Uh, you know, it's uh, it, it's life music. Um, it's a little bit of turn up music. It's a little bit of. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, little, little razzle dazzle in there for the bedroom for you to know, you know, to set the set the tone, <laughs> set the tone for whatever you know type of vibe you in. But it it really is every kind of uh, every kind of vibe on there for probably every emotion that a person might experience or uh, or go through on this uh, planet. And mm-hmm. you know, it's a it's a, a record on there, one of my favorite records uh, called Lessons on there, and it's really about how uh, you know how you live, you, you live a little bit, and that as you keep living, you learn so many uh, different lessons through this life, uh, you know, whether whether good or bad. So, you know, like I was saying earlier, the message for me um, 
was just to basically expose myself through the art mm-hmm. and uh, tell your story. At the hopefully, same time. yeah, d- doing that, and also hopefully by doing that, allowing other people to uh, be revealed to themselves. Mm-hmm. It's, parts of themselves that they probably you know wasn't even aware of or, or whatever and yeah. really just um offer as much inspiration uh that i can through the telling of my my own story oh, and showing exactly. that you actually can come from you know the dust and really rise up and rise above that that's no. all now let's get into entanglement <laughs> now they're calling you mr entanglement out here now you did an interview with angela yee and spoke mm-hmm. about your relationship with Jada Pinkett Smith. Mm-hmm. She then did a show, Red Table Talk, with Will, and called the relationship an entanglement. Yeah. Since the relationship was several years ago, a lot of people are confused, saying you spoke on it now for attention. What would you like to say in regards to that? I mean, look, you, man. You miss her? You still love her? I- <laughs> Absolutely. I was just Absolutely. saying, I was, I was just keeping nah, gay. Nah, keep, nah, keep nah, it yeah. a thousand like. But but look, but look. I mean, absolutely. I feel like when you experience a a, a certain type of experience on this planet, and you mm-hmm. experience a certain type of love, mm-hmm. you um, I'll always, I I will always have love for her as a as a person. That you know what I'm saying? Experience on this. <laughs> On this planet, that was experience. Yeah, on man. This planet, Lord, that got going <laughs> At, on. My nah, but real talk though, real talk. It, the it, the, the uh, experience really did help to transform me uh, and really bring out the bring out the king in me. But okay, as as for as for what uh, you know, people may say or whatever, or if it's looking like I might I'm doing something for um, attention. Absolutely, absolutely not. I was about to I say, feel like, you got a poker face because damn sure don't look like it to me. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I mean, it, I, it, the, 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 what's perplexing to me is that, you know, I never think it's anybody's uh, business to know my, name, my yeah, business, exactly. right? And my, exactly. per, my personal, my person, personal yeah. business, right? But when my personal business starts to affect my lifestyle and my livelihood, mm. Like I, 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 like I lost, you know, partnerships and deals behind mm-hmm. that situation because mm-hmm. it looked to the world as if August Alcina was some, you know, reckless New Orleans nigga that I'm just pushing up on somebody's wife. Yeah. And because because they didn't have the truth, you know, those things happen and transpire. And then when the truth was revealed, so many of those same people came back around and, and apologized to me, like, mm-hmm. oh. You know, I'm sorry, my bad. Mm-hmm. I didn't, you know, I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? But the in, in saying that I'm talking about it, uh, why why am I talking about it now? I mean, I could have spoken about this at at uh, any point in my life, but when my sister died, it mm-hmm. was something that I decided to remove myself mm-hmm. from. Gotcha. Because of the complexities mm-hmm. of it, and you know. Uh, I never want to be the person to cause confusion for anybody um, in their life, but I couldn't continue to walk around uh, elephants in the room. And for it to be said that it was several years ago, that was what I think my homie was just telling me that was not even a full two years ago when I dipped from that situation. You know what I'm saying? So I gave, you know, years of my life to that years of my life to it and here's the deal man nobody's wrong here you know what i'm saying nobody's a bad person she didn't prey on me or whatever that people are saying and i actually didn't even see the the interview i don't want to be right (laughs) (laughs) but no but you know I'm Real sorry, talk, popped though. up. No, 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 no. Real talk, though, love is complex, and it's not as right, simple as people, as people make it out to yeah. be. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you know, it's a it it, it is difficult uh, and complex conversations to have. And as I was saying, I I didn't even get to peep the uh, the interview that they did, but you know, my family saw it in the run. Mm-hmm. You know, running running back to me. 
and um, fam the, for show. the narrative, absolutely. And I guess it was said that the narrative is that oh, this happened so long ago. Why is he speaking on mm-hmm. it now? And it to you know to make me look as if I'm doing this for uh, some yeah. attention or whatever. When that's never that's never really been the case. And everything that I spoke on in my initial interview is and was and still is my exact truth. I yeah. sat and had a conversation. As two men, we had a conversation, and that's what it was. It you did. know what I'm saying? And I think that people, because of the narrative that was painted, believe that, oh, I'm speaking about this because I'm salty that they, they ended up getting back together when that's never been the case. Gotcha. They weren't seeing each other in that way, but still love and respect each other as family. And I said, we sat down as two men, like, yo, boom, you have my love, you have my blessing. And that's the situation as a whole. (laughs) For for really, though, now look, but, and I, I, dog, it's complicated because I I, I don't want to be the person to cause confusion in nobody's world. But when something is, you know, coming down in my world and affecting my world it's like look we gotta, gotta I, i'm ready to be honest yeah that's and that's really all that's really all it's about but nobody is you know a bad person here not him not her not anybody i have love for everybody the right. biggest love dog i really i really do you know what i'm saying i know i know it's all right. I, like i said you're a beast ladies and gentlemen my motherfucking <laughs> nigga august i see the, the new all is all <laughs> Nigga, thank you for stopping by, man, for real. Always. And I heard you, and I heard you dropping another project soon too. So stay in the yeah, suit. yeah, yeah, stay yeah, in the yeah, yeah. stay focused for real, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. Send I, something I my wish... way if you need me. Send me. For sure. You I, know. I wish I wish I had the uh, the record for you, uh, so you could have so you could have played it on the um, spot. But I'm still waiting on the um, the the mix to come mm-hmm. in. But we are we are about to put out. I'm gonna try to get it out probably like uh, uh, next sometime next week. Let's going through all the mixes and all that, so let's do for it. Show. Love. Big love, bro. Again, man, August, I seen him, a motherfucking nigga, man. I love you, bro. Yes, sir. For love for real, life. Man. I love you too, you big know. My slime a beast, man. My slime just a beast, man. Uh, my slime a beast. I got I got people from New Orleans, Texas that go po I already know what po I don't even see what Po said, bro. He, he po hit me with Po hit me and said, You a beast? <laughs> and po, po just stupid. <laughs> I'm just saying, I heard I ain't heard I ain't heard <laughs> I ain't heard the ass said that the ass said that slime has said he's so mad that you know what I mean? You can't, can't knock Slime off, but then Slime will be with pot. I'm saying, y'all money radio. We stay tuned. <laughs>